Today we're going to be going over one of my favourite artists and one who profoundly impacted my notion of what music can be. I recently received the tape skate pedal from Bleak District Electric out of Derbyshire in the UK. With this pedal I was instantly reminded of my favourite ambient composer William Bezinski, whose whole process is centred around the degradation of tape loops, long cinematic pieces that stretch out into the ether. Tapescape is a tape delay that hones in on the gradual deterioration of tape-based machines. It's a pedal that focuses on the very auditory artifacts I love the most. The noisy byproducts of mechanical machinery, tape hiss, wow and flutter, and the all-round destruction of your audio signal. William Bezinski is a Los Angeles-based avant-garde ambient composer, perhaps best known for the work he did in New York with disintegration loops. A clarinetist and saxophonist, Bezinski's main medium is tape-based loops. Bezinski's whole process is grounded outside the very confines of popular music. His compositions will often pass the hour mark with loops only a few seconds long, endlessly repeating, degrading, and warping into something new. Bezinski cites Brian Eno, Steve Reich, and John Cage as influences. There are a number of compositional tools Bezinski employs. The primary tool being tape-based reel-to-reel compositions used to capture, slice, and warp the world around us. Bezinski's great talent is letting loops crawl, grow, and evolve. Bezinski employs the use of silence as a compositional tool, not unlike one of his primary influences, John Cage. Of this he states, it's the contrast. It's so hard to hear silence nowadays. Field recordings are often used with Bezinski explaining, I sit out in the backyard and listen to a John Cage silence. It's not a silence. I can hear children screaming their heads off in the school four or five blocks away. Every afternoon it sounds like Godzilla has arrived and they're just having fun at recess. And the birds, and there's an airplane going over every three minutes. You can hear the drone four or five blocks away. I just love listening to that. So what does Bezinski's music mean to me and what can it mean to you? Like the music itself, my mind slowly shifted from viewing music in a formulaic verse chorus format that soon becomes old and stale and into a freeform interpretation. Lean to improvise sets with my band of freeform textures, no set list involved, just one composition expanded into an undefinable period of time.
I was on stage with my first band proper in my hometown of Oxford. I'd been studying the work of Brzezinski earlier that day when it suddenly clicked with me. I thought to myself, perhaps much to my band's annoyance, I expect, what is it that is stopping me from going freeform? Why should music, in this case, live performance, be dictated by concrete verse chorus structures? If music is to be an expression of being human, why limit it with compositional boundaries that insist creativity, expression, and emotion must be confined to a set structure? One of the things I really like about music and why I really got into it in the first place was because it was a place of freedom. It's something away from the standards that society sets. It's something very personal to each and every one of us and it's fundamental to the human experience. Wyszynski is a composer that freed my mind of these constraints. And moving forward with my new band, Vile Oscillation, freeform improvisation has been at the center of what we do. The first thing I mentioned when people ask me about the type of music I play is an example of one show where we stretched what was originally an eight minute or so composition into a 30 minute set. And we've got a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of stuff on the back burner, lads, uh, that we're gonna get out. It's just, um, Good art takes time, I guess, and uh, we've had all sorts of things happen in the last five years. It's crazy that um, we kind of like disbanded because of university, and then I moved to the US, but I'm really looking forward to getting back to the UK, and playing shows, and, and finally getting this music out. We've got, we've already got so like hours of recordings, and uh, I'm just going off on a tangent. I'm just very passionate about this stuff, and it's what um, really drives me each and every day, and I encourage you to find something some band, some, some music to drive you in the same way. Brzezinski has been as important as anyone in helping me understand what music is, or rather what it can be. Music doesn't have to be definable, it doesn't have to be set in concrete structures of melody, genre, etc. At its core, music is human expression. The most beautiful music comes from the authentic human experience. And with the way things are going nowadays, I think it's more important than ever to remind ourselves this.